and he said it. He said this Utah team plays fast, they play well at home, and they're going to want some revenge. You can bet that Lynn Roberts' team is going to want some revenge tonight after that one. Nothing was going their way. We'll see if they can get it done here for the home fans. Nine to one at home, so. Already much better defensive intensity by Utah. Shot clock down to five. Beers double teamed. Quick kick out. Another extra pass. Able to get the shot off though and off the iron. It was Hunter's shot. Really good defensive possession by Utah. Now they just want to play fast. And they worked down that clock. And I think Reese might have got a piece of that. The block for Kelsey Reese. Off of Jenna Johnson's shot. Talk about shot blocking. Nine blocked shots in that win for Oregon State against Utah. Yeah, Oregon State's very long. <laughs> they certainly are. to read the length in this game for Utah. Beers at 6-4. Goes left. Banks it up good. She is a tough matchup. Both of these teams are two of the better shooting teams in the conference. Peely up top and swish. And there's our matchup. It's going to be a fun one. Got to get out on Alyssa Peely. The first of probably a few more. This is a Utah team that averages 11 threes per game. That is tops in the nation in three-pointers made. Gets this crowd into it even more. Well, I know Lynn would like to see them be a little more patient on offense, but that was just too open last time. Drive from Von Olhoff, and she stays with it. A whistle on a foul note. will say jump ball. It'll go the other way. So right here you've got just single coverage. I think they're going to stay up. A little bit dig there at the end, but just great finish by Reagan Beers. Coming back at her. Nothing but net. Looking at inside, high to low. They find Jenna Johnson. She's a key piece to this Utah team, especially without Deja Young. And now they haven't had defense for a while. On O'Hoppen, guarded by Wilkie. Wilkie in her third start, the transfer from Wisconsin. She's really starting to get her confidence. O board for the Beavs. Can they make them pay? They do. That second effort, giving them some offense. And Utah's ranked really high in defensive rebounding. I mean, nationally and in the Pac 12, one of the top teams. So. It's unusual that they're giving up such an easy putback. The Beavs do a nice job with their spacing. They make it difficult to find that body, too. You know, just a good rebound by Peely there. They get another chance. Jenna Johnson off the mark. Both these teams are a nightmare to guard because <laughs> they have a phenomenal spacing. And they can shoot it, they can drive it, and they have stars in the paint. Yep. They can duck in, and, and they can go to it any time. Reese, the transfer from Utah, transferred to Oregon State this season. She's been a starter for every single game, as the lefty drive is good. A.J. Marant, the junior. They love that high curl play, Oregon State. They've had it in since uh, Jamie Weist. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sydney, I was just saying yeah. but Jamie Weisner. Yeah. And, uh, and pivot. Yeah, some phenomenal guard play Oregon State's had over the years as the drive. Speaking of guard play, McQueen, pretty phenomenal, lays it up. And I think she's the kind of player that most of her life she's been paired up against bigger players as fresh legs in, Lily Hansford comes in, and she's a spark with the bucket. Yeah, Jenna Johnson was very aware that she was there, and I don't know why she just pinched a little bit off the strong side. She and Tamia Gardner have come in for the Beavs. I think the sophomore now guarding Jenna Johnson. And now the switch on Wilkie. What a quick crossover. Oh, up in the reverse. She made that look so difficult. But yet, right in. That, I, I hope we get to see that again. I mean, gosh, that was a beautiful, we call that box drill. Just box drill. Somebody get a lead one way. And foul away from the basketball on Oregon right State. Box drill. Just got her going a little bit sideways. And great way to use the other side of the rim because to me it has some length. Well, smart play, as you said by Wilkie, to recognize getting away from that size in there if you can. The sophomore from Wisconsin and the transfer from the University of Wisconsin. And then a takeaway. Good D top side by Gardner. Stepped right in. The sophomore from Ogden, Utah. 
too far from here. McDonald's All-American. As Peely from behind catches Beers. It'll be her first. You know, you just really want to fall back behind and make her score over you. But I, I think Alyssa Peely thought she had to steal. <laughs> I think you're right. And you know what? She's pretty good. At, you know, if you put the ball on top of your head, she is going to block you. She's quite the athlete. She must have got a little bit more than the ball on that one. Peely will take a seat. Beers gets the free throws. the kind of game though when you've got two teams that are solid defensively and offensively it's which one's going to win out right now it seems like both teams not lighting it up offensively and not giving too many second shots and yep. certainly mm -hmm. some offensive rebounds but I think we should be able to put a hand on real quick when you're defending that ball screen Drive high to low. That's Kennedy Schuler who's checked in. She's one of three freshmen on Oregon State's team. So you just got to kind of pick your pose. And, um, it hasn't gone a ton, but 5 of 13 coming into this one. Gets the second to go, and that is, extends the lead out. Now the largest lead of this game so far, but just three points. Mama came off a, a huge weekend in Washington, really been getting going, so I know Liz hoping she keeps that up. Uh, Lonnie White movement without the basketball, right down the lane. We got some full cuts of her own, says Utah. Reach pull within one, and now Von Ohoffen with the play call. Just high on ball flat here, going to let her create. She's such an amazing creator. Drives it up, swatted out, five on the clock for the three-minute drought for the Utes. And Oregon State, no field goals in the last four minutes. They could use one here. And that one just a little flat for Hamsford, and that will do it. A close first quarter. Let's see if someone can kind of break open the second quarter. The offensive scoring, neither team lighting it up, just one three apiece for both sides. And the first to score there is Von Ohoffen. Wow, that was that was good defense, but what a nice drop spin. Talia Ohoffen has a Von Ohoffen, excuse me, has a array of different moves. And just a really, really good score. Wilkie. Step it back. You gotta step off the shooter and she'll take it. But what a difference in scoring between the game two weeks ago in Corvallis till now. The shooting percentages were off the charts after a quarter up there. Over 50% for both teams. And tonight so far, just so barely at 30 some odd percent. Yeah, Utah was one for nine before Wilkie just hit that shot. Yeah. So average 11 a game. Wilkie leads all scorers with five. Third start, again, no Deja Young out with injury. We're hoping maybe they'll get her back as soon as Sunday. We've got that one. That'll be Oregon in town. As Peely's trying to get involved and does, really uses her body well. She does, and she set that up. She's just so crafty. Great shot fake, got Reagan Beers to bite. That's all she needed. She's so crafty in playing against bigger defenders, Beers. Second effort as the shot for Hunter went around and out. Up by three in the first quarter. It's been close all the way around. Lonnie White stays out there as well as Reese Ross. The freshman, the lone freshman on this Utah team. Hunter's pushing. She does a great job of just pushing tempo for Oregon State. Here's Paroba. We didn't see her in the first quarter. She comes in. Quick passing, Beers, weak side board, and another chance. Both these teams are so efficient offensively, just really don't want to give them their second shots. Yep. Right about that. Utah 50% shooting team, 48%. And the and one for Beers. You know, you could front there. Uh, you could do your work a little bit earlier, maybe try to get her out of the key. Um, and she's also creating havoc with that high on ball. He's not really able to to switch and get back or help her get back. So a few adjustments for Utah to make here. Beers gets the three-point play. She had 20 points, was perfect. Eight for eight. And that's where 
you know, if you don't really have numbers. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a good push by Palmer, but by the time she made that pass, everybody's back. I don't know if Lynn Roberts wants that shot right now. Utah, a 39% three-point shooting team. They're averaging 11 a game, and so far now, two for 13. But Wilkie, hand in the passing lane, but they're going to call double dribble. That's tough. Yep. That's, Lynn, that's too bad, because that was great defense, and they had they had transition. They had numbers. Lynn Roberts still up and having a conversation. Our crew tonight, Bob Schofield, Kyle Bacon, and Ashley Ellis. Tania Gardner, high school All-American, can flat out put the ball in the basket. Another scoring drought for the Utes. Been over right at the three-minute mark. They have not scored. Just a three-point Oregon State lead. Low scoring first half for these two teams that average Utah 83 and 74 for Oregon State on the year. As McKay, fader three is good. The credit of the defense. I mean, and both these teams are having to work hard, set some really good screens, penetrate, break down the defense, and kick to get some good looks. I've been coached against her. No, no, another steal by Wilkie. At the hands for Wilkie, and the D getting back with her, but McQueen was as well and just missed. Didn't quite have the angle on the layup. I think she might have slipped a little yeah, bit. But... Yep. And now pushing the other way, Karova with the bucket. Arizona. You never know. There's a lot of play left, but we are officially in the second half of conference play. Ross, another chance. The open look too much. And rebound, and Von Holhofen with it. Beers out running. She plays like a guard at times at 6-4. There's those tight end wow. hands. Yep. I mean, she just, she kind of had a late contest and did the, the run out, a little bit of the cherry pick. <laughs> but... Uh, credit, credit Reagan because they didn't have a safety and great pass by Talia. McQueen has been answering. <laughs> and Utah needed it. <laughs> yeah, that last play, that was, that was definitely Travis Kelsey like for certain. <laughs> Soft hands. <laughs> and, now, and definitely your number one target. Yep. One on one, Jenna Johnson. There's some help from Vieta. They've been helping off of her. She kicks it out to Gardner, who sticks it. Help D, and they make him pay. Yeah, I still think that's the right play. I think I would so too. Shot clock to two. Got to recognize. A piece of it. It was Von Olhoff and the defense smothering. Utah just has to keep, you know, trying to get a little more ball movement. Caused some problems, and now Ross and Gardner going at it in the high post. Schuler guarded by Vieta. It's facing again from Oregon State. Corona in the lane. And Utah the wanted foul. to travel, yeah. but they're not going to get it. They're going to get a foul instead. Now and, uh, Lynn, 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 Lynn better be careful here. Yeah. She's, uh, she's, uh, oh. What did Scott Ruiz told us? He said his team, they are going to want some revenge. He said we have a lot of respect for them. He's one more time. So she kind of comes over. If anything, yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it from either angle. Yeah, I so I think, I think the crowd and then have, have a little, have a good case there. And, you know, all you want from the officials is just, you know, make sure that you see it. You know, if you're not sure, don't call it. Um, Right now, we've had a couple calls against you. So that foul usually also, balances out. Th- that was the second personal also on Vieta, so that hurts. That really just hurts. Just under a minute left. But she's going to stay out there. One for two from the line for Parova. Utah, one for the last eight field goals. They could use a bucket. Wilkie lost her balance momentarily and loses it to the Beavs. Oregon State hanging on and has a chance to extend their lead even further. This is their largest of the game and sitting at five. And Ohop and looking for the Gardner curl. She'll take it anyway. Swish. What a pretty shot from Tamiya Gardner. Just a two foot on the line. I don't know how you adjust to that. Maybe just make her put the ball on the floor. But Tamiya is definitely a hot hand. Robert cut it up, you know, really hurt their rotations and their ability, I think, to finish that quarter strong, but credit Oregon State. Yep. And, you know, Scott Ruick, the voice of experience there, hey, we know they're a great third quarter team. I mean, he's just knows that 
That's just the feel I'll have. Yep. <laughs> this is where you win the game. He's not getting too excited about anything yet. Absolutely. So, yeah, two personals on in Espieta, two personals on Alyssa Peely, but the first score, once again, is Talia Von Olhoffen, the junior out of Washington. They gave that to her. They both took beers and just said, we're going to give you the pull-up shot. Yeah, I, I, you know, you've coached for so long, too. When you have a player like Beers, do you have to try a variety of different things? She's not just somebody that you typically have somebody to match right up with. Queen just off to the left. Utah just, I mean, they've had some tough breaks. Um, they could easily be 9-2 and two right now. Yep. Just some controversial calls down the stretch of a couple games for them. And, you know, they, they've got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. But, you know, at the end of the day, you just got to play basketball. Yep, certainly so. And, and they know, they believe. And this is Morgan State team, though, coming in at 7-3. and three. They also, I think, believe, especially after their wins against Colorado and Utah last two weekends ago, Coach Rook said, you know, that was really kind of a line on us moment as there's a takeaway by Hunter. Defense, creating offense, the and one, and a little slip underneath. Donovan Hunter is just having such a tremendous freshman year to see this again. And we kind of lost the ball, got stuck on her hip. Donovan, both these teams are just in people's face. Took advantage, and not really a smart foul there. Good finish by Hunter. The coaches, players, everybody, just just to, you know, take a deep breath, poise, um, be disciplined in the second half. Can't get the three-point play. Rebound to Peely, and Vieta pushes. Peely up top, raising the iron. She has been off behind the arc tonight. But an extra chance effort from Jenna Johnson. I love that aggressiveness. You know, normally a pulse in the corner is going to look to pass back. She just rips it and jams it down their throats. And that stops a 12-0 run going back to the first half by Oregon State. You said it, though. Jenna Johnson, just four points can a little quiet to five rebounds. Her extra effort and hustle paying off. Fade from the rock, around and out. A great extra team. effort. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, a little pin down. Take the short pull-up shot, and then Reagan Beers is just owning that board. Owning that weak side board. Whistle away from the ball. And again, it's just hard. Oregon State really doesn't have somebody to just body Reagan Beers and, and, and credit her for getting position, but also, I mean, it's, it's just a tough matchup for Peely and Johnson right now. Tia Gardner back on. Kelsey Reese takes a seat on the whole as well. And Lily Hansford back on. And, and really, Utah is a great defensive rebounding team. It's, it's, it's something that they're usually, even with their size, they do a really good job. Peely trying to get more involved and finally does. She says, I think I got fouled as well, but she makes her way to the other end. Now, seven points in point. Oregon State lead. High low, not a lot of room there for Hunter to try to dump it down to Beers. So right here, just reads the mismatch. And she... <laughs> That's about as aggressive as we've seen her be tonight, and she, yeah. need, she needs to keep bringing that. She doesn't usually say a lot either, but wow, Gardner mm -hmm. has a shot going. She's been a nice spark off the bench. Yep, Johnson just, I think she went under that screen, and I would be in Tamia Gardner's face about as much. I'd make her put the ball on the floor. She's got 10 points. Healy's going to drive it up. Can't quite get the angle. Vieta tries to keep it alive as Oregon State comes up with it. I think Oregon State's a little worried, maybe too worried about Oregon State's transition game. And they're getting maybe one person on the O board. So I think they could crash more with their safety. And, and you know, I think they're going to need their second shots. Bailey trying the top side, almost got it. Working hard, she and Beers. What a matchup. Drive from Hunter, weak side. It's Beers. Well, right now they're just clearing out that, that lane line and back and going iso ball. And Reagan Beers is just sitting on that weak side block and cleaning everything up. So it might be something that Utah has to talk about. I don't think it was a pass to her, but she was good. I'm not giving her. I don't like half-footers, one-footers. You know, make them earn it. Make them score outside. With injury, and hopefully back soon. Get some votes. She's an 81% free thrower. Yeah, without Neepkins, I mean... Coaching staff for Utah has been, you know, a little bit shorthanded all year, and, and without Deja Young, really, they're 
possibly their top defender. Yeah. Another great three-point threat. It just really gives them more depth. It sure sure. does, yeah. And hurts you against a team like this as there's a high archer and pretty Donovan Hunter with the three ball. A player gaining more confidence, Coach Ruick said, because of Talia Von Olhoffen. That Von Olhoffen's really helping her, the junior guard, in being a first-year point guard. She is. She's helping everybody. She's just evolved so much. I mean, a great offensive player. Donovan Hunter's going to be a force in college basketball, for sure. Yeah. Scott Ruick can't say enough about this group as a whole. He just says he's really in heaven coaching this group. We said it earlier, the calls this team a throwback team. Yep. There's been so many impressive players that have come through, but just a humble group, and they really bonded. They took a trip to Italy in the offseason, and he said that really paid off. Made a shot. Oh, good. Jenna Johnson. Another row board, another putback. I feel like Utah, you know, they obviously need to, but they're playing with a little, little harder, a little harder sense of urgency to get some second shots for themselves. He also called Donovan Hunter unpoppable. Yeah. I mean, just a level of toughness you don't usually see with freshmen. Yeah. Some of that is her injuries, coming off her injuries. Some of it. I mean, Tom Cole at South Bedford, he, that's a dynasty there. Oh. Oh, man's <laughs> Falling to the court as well. She kind of shoots it sideways. She's got that lefty shot. Creators room, uh, room to work. Let's see if the Utes can have an answer and cut into the deficit. Jenna Johnson's been a nice breath of fresh air. Putting the old boards, getting some second chances. Izzy Palmer's back on. Queen lays it up. Just missed on that angle. Too much. She came off of that. She just saw beers <laughs> big and long. Yeah, she makes you make some adjustments in there with the link. Quick passing all the way around on Old Hop and sticks it. You take pride in Utah and cut into the double digit lead. They do the and one by Vieta. And that's her first bucket of the ball game as well. They could use more from her. Gets a three point play. Yep, she's had some good looks from the three, and they haven't yeah. fallen. When the Utes four for 23 out there, just not their typical three-point shooting night. The Queen, another chance, gets it for three of the game for Utah. That, that is vintage Utah basketball. That's what they're going to have to need to do for this this last 10 minutes and 18 seconds. They keep that tempo up. Keep creating easy looks. And they get this crowd back in it as well on a 6-0 run. Down to four. And the screen up high. And one defensive stop here. Gardner turns. Can't get it. And that will do it for the third quarter. Utah down by 17 at one point. They've cut it to 11. On a 6-0 roll. Will that win out in this fourth quarter, or is Oregon State just too connected and confident right now? Final 10 minutes of this one. And for the Utes, they're going to have to continue to attack. No Reagan beers to start this one. She picked up her third personal. Peely's going to take it at Reese. Couldn't get the layup. Knocked out of play. It's going to go the other way. And it just was a teeny bit short. Peely averaging 22 points a game. She's sitting at nine right now. Definitely need more from her. Gardner gets to start this quarter. She's up top. She's been good. And Kennedy McQueen kind of grabbing at the right leg. Yeah, hopefully she's okay. She uh, definitely got tangled up, yeah. kind of tripped. It was incidental. Pops probably could have gotten called, but yep. it wasn't intentional. I hope the adrenaline helps her here. Shot clock down to five. Tries to help on Hunter. Hunter short. And a good defensive stop by the Utes. This is one. I kind of agree. There's a little bit of hand checking, and Utah's kind of gotten called for theirs. And I think uh, Maddie Wilkie's going to come in for Kennedy to clean for a minute. Yep. So she can kind of, she's kind of skipping off the court yeah. here. Yeah. She's a tough one. Yeah, you don't want to speculate. I kind of thought I saw her roll the ankle a little bit, but uh, you never know. So they'll talk things over. She definitely rolled it a little bit, but, you know, that can happen and, you know, you're fine and it's sure. happening and you're not. So. Peely gets that one to drop. Last time down for the Beavs. Gardner 
turned and shot it up. Coach Ruick turned and said, give Beers the ball. See if they can get it to her. Here's Gardner. She was open for a second. Kick down to Hunter. Sticks it. Peely knocked to the floor. And a three ball good. Oregon State extends the lead back out. Hunter broke a 7-0 run for Utah. So just when Utah was trying to get some momentum going, they were able to hit a big one and extend the lead back out. And now a takeaway by Von Olhoffen. The defense again. Yeah, just, you know, deep baseline drive. That's how you play it. You stay home, you steal the pass. Discipline, what Scott Wood said at halftime. Beers, Peely, tries to stay with her but can't. Another bucket for Beers. Boy, I mean, the big girl has that extra pivot move. <laughs> Wilkie, just short. Utah, a team that is second in the nation in assists per game. Uh, they average, as that one was not the way, they, they average about 21 a game. Today they have seven in this one. So it's just not, I mean, the shot's been off the shooting percentage, but that extra pass seems to get an open look for them so so often. It hasn't been the case tonight. Okay, Coach Buck, I agree 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just not the extra pass. Yep. You know, and, and I feel like maybe they, the shots haven't been terrible at all, but that extra pass just makes a big difference. Yep. Beers again on the left side, 17, and, and again, not slowing down. Then Roberts, Coach Lynn Roberts said they were one for 14 when the ball only went to one side. Yeah, can't lose beers, and she gets fouled, they'll say. Good job to attack. That's a great take by Alyssa Peely. Hopefully she can make them pay with these two free throws. Just, you see her wanting to block every shot. You see her kind of getting up on her, out of her stance instead of, at times, if she would just distract. That's going to help her stay out of foul trouble yeah. and continue to have a... Another incredible season. Coach Rook says just has character through the roof and really doesn't even know how good she is. You know, is just still trying to improve. But I mean, everybody on this team has blocks. They, I mean, they <laughs> yep. don't. They don't have any of the goodies. Nope. Sixteen blocks for the Beavs tonight. Shot clock to five. On Olhoffen. And miscommunication right to our official Bob Schofield. Only the ninth turnover. Both teams have really taken care of the ball for the most part. See if you can get something out of it. Just under three minutes left in the game. Queen gets it. High Arthur and straight through. This is one of the tougher ones coming to the Mountain Schools. They'll go to Colorado for a game on Sunday. And there's a takeaway by Vieta. She's not giving up on it just yet. Queen. Nice sidestep. Little off to the left. Yeah, just break for Oregon State. And the Utah team will face Oregon on Sunday. We'll have that one for you. The play for K game. And the Ducks are getting better and better. Utah not going to foul here. Down by 12. This is a big win and start to this road trip for Oregon State. It'll give them their eighth in conference play as Wilkie almost a takeaway and almost an over and back. Instead, Hunter, the layup, taking advantage. Yeah, yeah. Oregon State kind of got the better of Utah with the 50-50 balls, and that's not easy to do. Utah is, they're just so, such tough competitors. Another one off for Peely. And Utah's lowest game total since back in 2021, a 41-pointer. The team averaging 83 a game, held to 44. That's big D by Oregon State. That's incredible D, and that's they are first in the conference at goal percentage defense, three-point percentage, three-point goal percentage defense, and it showed. I mean, great, great win by Oregon State. Utah will be fine. Both these teams are tremendous. They're going to be in the NCAA. They have time yep. to recoup. I mean, Utah hopefully will get Deja Young back, and uh, they, they will very much appreciate that added depth. 